Welcome to Vesta 360, your cloud-based into your design software. Let's take a look at how customized your kitchen design can be. So if you are using a catalog-based uh, library where you have incremental sizes, we can have a drop-down menu here to allow you to select a size and then simply drag and drop it into your scene. So here we can see that it is a 36 by 30. Uh, no doubt you have the ability to come and change um, or have a drop down menu for the height as well or manually change your heights here. If you are a fully custom cabinet shop and uh, you're not worried about the different uh, dimensions, uh, you can also simply have a open field here where you can come in and put uh, any value that you want and once you've entered that you can come and drag and drop that into the scene as such. Now um, a combination of both is also possible so in this case right here uh, the customer would like to first make sure that the proper selections are done here but if need be and if we de do need to customize maybe one or two cabinets there is a checkbox here that can allow to enter in a different dimension than the uh, drop-down selections. Uh, so a combination of both, uh, if it's relevant to your business, then that could be another approach. Other customizations can be accessed through the right side menu of the cabinet. As I double clicked on it, I can come to the two doors here. Uh, let's open it up to see what we have inside. So currently I have two shelves but in the interior components I can maybe change it to a single shelf or I can put a vertical shelf like this. Uh, other options here are the finishes and the finished ends. So I can have an integrated finish panel here so as I can see inside that the um, left side changed to a finished material or if it is not what you want and you want to have an applied panel you can click on under the applied finished ends and click left side so that will keep the inside as is but add the uh, the panel so we're just using a 5.8 material here but of course if you got three quarters we would see the three quarter material being added to that and then what you noticed here is that whether we want a kick to be returned or the um, finished end panel going all the way to the floor so those options are there for you. Uh, so very quick and easy to make these type of customizations. And uh, if we take a look at th the materials as well, uh, we can quickly change grain directions. So maybe we want to uh, put our doors horizontally and all our drawers horizontal as well. So this could be something that could be done really quickly and easily uh, on your entire design or individually you have options on the exterior to go and change the grain directions um, as well. So here for example I can come and put my doors on individual cabinets through the menu over here or even change the door or the drawer materials uh, to any other material for example. Uh, here we go. Let's go ahead and change that top drawer to a different color. So really the flexibility to change anything everywhere all at once or individually per cabinet or per drawer front door is all here. So for example if I wanted to only change the handle model for uh, this one alone here is the menu where I would go and do it. If I want to change all my drawers, uh, all my handles, we have other menus that could allow you to go and change that through these uh, menus. I will walk through these on a later video but I think for now this gives you a really clear indication the flexibility and to what level you can customize and don't forget that it's only a click of a few buttons that, that this would uh, spit out an estimate. So with being fully custom you can really make these changes and your estimation will ref be reflected uh, of the materials that are being used in the design. I hope this was useful and see you in the next video. Goodbye.